Kabul city, spectacular, subhanallah. What a view, what a beautiful sight. Mm -hmm. high up on the mountain in Kabul, Afghanistan. And if you look at each of these homes, made out, made out of rocks and mud, if these rocks, if these stones, if these walls could talk, what would they say? They'd probably share the tears, the anguish, the cries, the orphan children going to sleep, the mother putting her children to sleep because there's no food. The strong stench of sewage, of waste. And when there's no access to water, the people on top of this mountain take the surface water of sewage and utilize it for their consumption. How is it right in today's day and age that we allow people to use water of that dirt and fault? Imagine what Fatima and the families have to go through on a daily basis for basic necessities here in Afghanistan. We are just a few hours away from the suspicious night of Ramadan, the 27th night of the blessed month of Ramadan, and we asked our sister here, what dua would she be making? And her first response was, I'll make dua for the Ummah. A second dua she'll be making is for her children. And then she said she'll make dua for herself. Our sister is probably, if you talk about the Ummah, amongst the most needy people that you could find. And instead of saying, I'll make dua that Allah alleviate my situation, that's for herself, she said, I'll make dua for the Ummah. Imagine the difference, the small difference you can make to their lives by assisting and donating. It doesn't take big donations. It takes a minuscule donation with sincerity. It will impact these children, these orphans, these widows who are living in the mountaintops of Afghanistan. <laughs> 